My name is Anna Maddox and I play oboe and English horn with BPO. In the summer, we play a lot of free concerts for the community. This is really important because there's this thought with orchestral music that we're not necessarily the most accessible art form, and this couldn't be further from the truth. This concert was awesome because you could have heard a pin drop. The estimates are between 10 and 15,000 people, and it was practically silent for us as we were playing. It was really an incredible experience with that, to know that everyone there was so engaged. My name is Stefan Sanders, and I'm the resident conductor of the Buffalo Philharmonic Orchestra. The technical aspect involved in putting the music and the light show together worked this way. The projects team, they were given recordings of the pieces that we were going to play, and that's what they used to inspire their design and their choreography that, that, that they put on the building. Then what we had to do was we had to make sure that we were duplicating those recordings. And the way that we did it was by looking at a video with the actual images that are being put on the Richardson complex and then I'm watching a clock and for each measure I put in a little number where the clock is and that's where the music needs to be. So sometimes we had to speed up the tempo to catch up a little bit, sometimes we had to slow down just a little bit to catch up so that we can make sure that we were hitting all of our marks. It's a rather intense experience. You're trying to make sure that the orchestra is keeping pace with the light show. It was only an hour-long concert but it felt like it was much much longer than one hour. Being a part of the Enlightened Project was a rather singular event. The Richardson Complex itself is a remarkable building that has a strong tie to the history and culture of Buffalo. And all these many years later, 145 years later, to be doing this concert with the project's crew and Buffalo Audiovisual and the Buffalo Philharmonic is something truly, truly special. I'm Keith Harrington and I am lead artist and creative director with projects. And I'm Erin Habes and I'm the project manager. I keep everything in check. Video mapping is transforming the look of a surface through projection. The idea was pitched to us from Dan Hart from the BPO. You know, hey guys, we have this idea, we want to we want a video map on the Richardson and the BPO is going to perform. Do you think you can, you can do this? And we said, what did Absolutely. we say? Absolutely, <laughs> no question. We said, no question, of course. This, is, this would be the opportunity of a lifetime for us to video map on the Richardson, an iconic building in Buffalo. We realized that the crowd was actually going to have all different perspectives, whether you were on the, the west side or the east side of the lawn, and we wanted to light up all of these trees and part of our storyline was the grand old oak tree. That has been sitting there longer than the building. So it's kind of like watch the evolution of the Richardson over time. Team projects consisted of 10 local artists and animators that created what you guys saw on July 28th. We really wanted to work with all local partners. John Rickus is an incredible lighting designer, somebody that we love to collaborate with. Buffalo Audiovisual took care of all the tech and the, and the video mapping. My name is Jeremy Maxwell. I'm a graphic designer and illustrator for Team Projects. My role with Projects was to create the fundamental graphics for the building. I helped edit and align the building so that everybody's piece would be cohesive. As a graphic designer and illustrator, it was incredibly exciting for me to utilize the motifs and the tiles, the artwork from Birchfield Penny, from Albright Knox, Julian Montague, and we were able to project them through nine movements, synced to the music with the BPO. When we were actually on site, we had no idea what we were expecting. Everything up until that point was in theory on D3. If we did it right in the programs, it was gonna project and line up to the building immaculately, and we were absolutely stunned when it did. The Night of Enlightened, it was absolutely phenomenal to watch the BPO play live in time perfectly with everything we were doing up on the building.
We want to thank Buffalo and every single person they came out to see Enlighten, and we hope that we get to do it again soon. This concert was for the community, and you being there means the world to us.